Now, we all know about Kyrie Irving himself, the greatest ball handler of all time, in my opinion, and a lot of people can agree with that. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make my Kyrie Irving build in NBA 2K24. But before I get into the build, let me show you how the jump shot I was using. You got to be starter three to use this jump shot base, which is Patrick Mills. And here's the SIGs I'm using as well. So if y'all want to use some of his SIGs, you can throw them on. They're actually pretty tough. And if y'all could also do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notice to the channel so you can be notified when I post. And let's try to get 100 likes on today's video. Now, for the position, you want to go with point guard. For the height, you want to go with 6'3 instead of 6'2. For the weight, we're going to put it to 194 pounds. So we can be built just like Kyrie himself. And we're also going to leave the wingspan at a 6'7. Now, starting off with the finishing, we're going to put the close shot to a 65, which is not bad at all. For the driving layup, y'all know we gotta have a high driving layup, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it all the way up to a 90, which is just enough so we can get Hall of Fame Acrobat, and we also get a little bit of driving dunk because he can dunk the ball when he wants to. I did give him a 45, but in these clips, I was really just getting around that rim with finishing as far as doing layups. Look, I'm comboing up, doing my thing, hitting him with that Euro. Now, when you have this high of a driving layup, you got to be able to score in that paint, especially when you have Hall of Fame Acrobat. You can utilize these layups to your advantage a lot because you also get Hall of Fame Giant Slayer. So nobody's going to be able to really stop you in that paint if you know what you're doing with your layups. Now, you only get a 45 driving dunk, so I recommend only going for dunks on a fast break. But if you do get into the paint, you could try to get a rim grazer. It's just a real high possibility that you either will get blocked or pushed out of the animation. But look, as y'all can see on this play right here, on the fast break, getting the easy dunk, I mean... That's the only time you really should be using your dunk rating. But with this high driving layup, you will be able to make layups like this. And it's really just overpowered. In this game, layups are OD, I'm not going to lie. And on top of that, if you know how to use floaters, man, you're going to be unstoppable. Now, as y'all can see on this play right here, we get the ball in transition. He reaches at me and I do an easy scoop play. Come on now. This play right here, we're taking the ball down the court, taking my time. I'm trying to combo up, hit him with the behind the back. I get into the paint, easy scoop play. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the shooting. Now for the mid range, you want to go ahead and put it all the way up to a 90 for gold dead eye and gold blinders. And we also get gold green machine. And on top of that, we get an 86 three ball, which allows us to get silver agent three and bronze limitless range. And also we get a 73 free throw. We have just enough so we can get that free points on bronze. Now y'all know this wouldn't be a Kyrie Irving build if we didn't have high shooting. Now look right here, I'm really just doing my thing. I hit him with the hop step into the three, green bean chicken wing. Having this much shooting on a build that is 6'3 is unstoppable to be honest, especially having Patty Mills. It just makes it way too easy. Now, if you really want to go realistic with it, you could put on Kyrie's jump shot base. It's not bad at all. But because Patty Mills is the best jump shot base in the game, that's what I was using. Now, as y'all can see in this clip right here, Calm went up. I got him stumbling. I hit him with the easy cross. Y'all know what color that is. Come on now. Now, with having a high mid-range, like I said, you will be able to get gold dot eye, gold blinders, gold green machine. And on top of that, you can get Hall of Fame open looks, which I feel like is a top tier badge in my opinion. Now look, right here, this dude can't guard me behind the back. Y'all know what color that is, green bean chicken wing. This play right here, we're on the transition in the fast break. I go down the court and take the easy pull up midi. Come on, man. We got a 90 memory, so we got to use it somehow. This play right here, we're getting the ball up the court. I'm wide open on the wing. Y'all know what color that is. Come on, man. It's just way too easy. Having this much shooting, with sharpshooting takeover, y'all know I gotta go crazy. This dude was not able to guard me. I think I dropped about 50 points, 51 points on him. He was having a hard time staying in front of me. Now look, this play, like where is bro going? He is so lost. This play right here, I'm open on the top of the key. I wait for the ball to come my way. Y'all know what color that is, green mean chicken wing. This play in transition on the fast break, open in the corner, free three. Listen, man, you can really make some crazy shots on a build like this. You will not have no problem worried about shooting that ball. But moving on to the playmaking, this is where it gets crazy because, come on now, Kyrie is a playmaker. 
Now, I did go with a 75 pass accuracy. I feel like that's decent enough. We get silver dimer and silver special delivery. And we also get a 93 ball handle for, for gold killer combos and Hall of Fame ankle breaker, of course. And we also get a 91 speed with ball. Now, just to show you on these clips, we're going to be able to pass that ball. 75 pass accuracy is really decent. It gets there. Look, right here, I hit my teammate on the left wing. Y'all know what color that is. Now, I feel like on any guard build, you want to always aim for at least a 70 pass accuracy and up. As long as you know what you're doing as far as passing the ball, you should have no problems at all. Look, I hit my teammate on the right wing after running to the paint, and he got the easy shot off. Now, having a 93 ball handle, y'all know we got to be able to dribble that ball. Right here, I did get plugged, but I was still able to hit my teammate that was wrapping around because I have the IQ to do that. Come on, man. This play, I get the ball in the paint, swing pass to the right wing, green bee, chicken wing. Come on, man. It's just way too easy. This play right here, we're getting the ball down the court. I hit the pass into the corner, and my boy gets the free shot off. But moving on to the defense. Now, we know Kyrie's not really known for defense, but... I went ahead and gave him a 65 interior for the perimeter defense. I'm going to go ahead and put it up to a 72 for bronze challenger. For the steal, I did give him a 60 steal for bronze interceptor. And we all know Kyrie's not really blocking anybody, so I didn't give him no block at all. For the offensive rebound, I'm going to put it to a 55. And for the defensive rebound, I only put it to a 41. And now we're going to move on to the physicals. For the speed, we're going to leave it at an 86. For the acceleration, we're going to put it all the way up to a 75 for gold triple strike. And we're also going to get a 63 strength for silver fillers finisher and silver physical handles. And for the vertical, we're going to leave it at a 56. And for the stamina, we're going to max it out to that 99 so we can get our gold handles for days. Now, here's the build. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section about this Kyrie Irving build. I think I cooked it up pretty good. Here's the shades that we get. Nick Van Axel, Darius Garland, and Trey Young. And you have built yourself a shot creating three level three. This is definitely a W build name in my opinion. Like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section, how do y'all feel about this build? And if there's anything you would change about it. But this is the end of the video. And I just want to say that I appreciate all y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, why don't you like, comment, subscribe. We is on that grind of 20k subs. And check out my most recent videos popping up on the screen right here. And hey man, I'm out.